Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can pass the dynamic value for the location and the tags in the runner. If you look at the code for our parallel runner, we have hard coded the location as well as the tag. If I want to reuse the same runner for different tag, I need to manually update the tag here and then run the runner. And this is not the good approach. We can solve this problem by dynamically passing the value of the location as well as the tag in the runner. And this can be done by using the concept of system property. So in Java under the system class, there are some methods available using which you can read the system property that are set as a VM argument. So let me show you how it is done. First, let me write a simple Java application that will demonstrate how to read the system property. So in this package, I'm going to add a Java class and let me call it as read system property. Inside this class, I'm going to add the main method. Now let me open the documentation of the system class. So this is the documentation of the system class. In this class, there is a method available that is get property. And I'm going to use this method to read the system property value. This method takes the two argument. The first one is the name of the property and the second one is its default value. So let me add sysout statement in this main method. So let's say the name of the first property is location. And as you can see in the documentation, this method is the static method. So I can use the class name to call this method. So system dot get property. Property name is location and its default value is this. In this similar manner, I will create one more system property for the tags. And the name of the property is tags. And the default value for this one is at the rate confidence. After this, I need to pass the value of both this property as a VM argument. So for that, I need to create the run configuration first. So just do a right click, run as run configuration. As this is a Java application, so just go under the Java application tab and add a new configuration. Click on the search button and look for the class that is read system property. Navigate to the arguments tab and in the VM argument, we need to specify the value of both the properties. So whenever you are passing the property value from the VM argument, you need to pass them in the form of key value pair. And also you need to prepend hyphen capital D with the property name. So hyphen D location and its value is com slash API hyphen D tax equal to at the rate smoke. So during the runtime, this property will be set by the Java and in the program, I can fetch the value of this property using the get property method. So let me run this. So as you can see at the console, we are able to read the value of those properties. And I'm going to use the same concept to pass the dynamic value of the location and the tax in our runner. So for that, I will create two private method. The first private method is going to read the location and the second private method is going to read the tags. Now let me open the implementation of tags method. As you can see here, we have one more overloaded version of the tags method that takes the list of tags. So I'm going to use this particular method for specifying the list of tags. And as this method can accept the list of string, I will change the return type of this method to list of string. So in order to read the system property, I will use this statement. That is system.getProperty and the name of the property. Then I will store the return value in a string object. 
after that I'm going to create a list that will contain this tags so it will be list of string in order to create a list I will use a utility method that is arrays dot list and specify our string object and then return this list and I can use this method as an argument to this method in the similar manner I will create one more private method to read the location so for reading the location I will use this statement So in case of location, we need to preprint the location with the class path string. So first let me create a private variable for this string. And I'm going to prepend this value with the location. And then use this method as an argument to the path method so let me put the breakpoint in this method as well as in the second method after this I'm going to create the debug configuration for the parallel runner so debug debug configuration as this is going to use the JUnit engine so under the JUnit tab I will add a new configuration after that I will navigate to the arguments tab hyphen D name of the property and its value in this similar manner I will specify the value of the second property apply and debug step over so this is the value which we supplied from the VM argument and this is the content of our list similarly for the tags this is the value which we passed from VM argument and this is the value inside the tag list so if you look at the console only three scenario got executed in the similar manner I can specify the different tag value in the same runner so this time I'm going to create the run configuration in the argument I will specify the tag value as at the rate regression apply and run so five scenario got executed so in this manner you can specify the dynamic value for the location as well as for the tag in the parallel runner mm -hmm.